When possible, arrive at the field early to set up for the first activity of your training session. It is helpful if the coach has training bibs, cones, and extra balls for practice. The basic dimensions are 15 yards long by 10 yards wide, or 10 yards by 10 yards. Grids can be bigger simply by expanding these basic dimensions. With young players, use numerous cones to more concretely designate the grid. With older players, fewer cones are necessary, as they understand the idea of imaginary lines between the cones. This diagram shows a fundamental grid. With young players, it is helpful to use cones of different shapes and colors to define the playing area. If you conduct an activity where the players will be split into two groups, you can set up two grids side by side. Once the grids are set up, then get the balls and training bibs organized at the grids. The use of cones of different colors and shapes help to designate their function in the activity. You can set up for a second activity by placing the cones under the cones you're using for the first activity. Once you are ready to begin the second activity, simply take the cones from under the cones already in place and lay them out as needed. This organization saves downtime and keeps the training session flowing. The markings on the field can be used to designate the practice area. Here the coach uses the corner of the field to clearly lay out the practice area. Corner flags or bicycle flags can be used in place of goals or to mark the corner of the grid. Now the coach uses cones to extend the penalty area to mark off a small game area. Cones of a different color are used to mark two small counterattack goals, and the age group regulation goal is used at the other end. Next, the small goals are removed and a second regulation goal is used. For the final game or scrimmage, place all of the balls and training bibs where you can keep the game flowing. Adjust the field dimensions as necessary according to the age and number of players. Unused equipment should be removed from the playing area. So coaches, I don't have to stop the activity in order to be able to adjust the grid, adjust the setup. So what I've done is I've put a couple of orange cones in the corners underneath one of the yellows. I've taken them out on one end and made myself a goal. I'm gonna do the same thing now down at this end of the grid and make a goal. And then we'll easily adjust 
without stopping the activity at all and being able to change the game to where we're playing two goal. This way I don't kill the rhythm of the training session and we maximize our time with the players in an hour, hour and a half training session so that they can get the most contact time with the ball, the most repetition in game-like situations. from this cone. So start walking that way. Go ahead. Andrew, start going that way. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. The rest of you, go grab a ball. Everyone grab a ball. Okay, put a cone down. Yep. Okay, now I want you guys to set the balls all around the outside of this little field, okay? Good. That's good. Okay, come on in. Come on in. Leave the balls. Leave the balls. Come on in. Okay, good. Goalkeepers. The spare balls, knock them back over towards the uh, equipment bags. Field players, get all the cones. Bring me the cones and the training bibs, please. Okay, good. Go get a drink. Once you brought in some of the equipment, go ahead and get a drink. So at the end of the game, I have the players help me with uh, the pickup of the equipment. It makes for a more efficient training environment. I give them a water break, and then we come in for a little bit of a cool down. Don't bore the players with long-winded speeches. Give concise instructions and get into the activity quickly. Children come to play the game, not to work, not to listen to the coach lecture, and not to discuss the game. They come to play, and that equates to fun. Do not speak in generalizations or with a running commentary. Be brief, clear, and pertinent with your coaching point. Players learn best by actually playing the game, and in an environment where they feel free to try new ideas. Look the part of a soccer coach. Come to a training session dressed so that you can demonstrate when necessary. Make sure that you're wearing a neutral color from the players. Encourage free and unbridled play by modifying the playing environment to small-sided games. 3v3, 4v4, 6v6, and 8v8, and limiting the amount of input from the coach. Do not follow the ball around. Instead, observe from a proper coaching position outside of the activity. With attention to detail, prepare a thorough lesson plan focusing on the player's abilities, the facilities, and the equipment at your disposal. Grab your ball. Okay, and let's just start dribbling around. Just dribble around. Inside, outside. Try not to let anyone touch your ball. Inside, outside. Very good. And change direction. Can you change direction? Stay inside the grid. All right, and let's go on the line. Give yourself some room up there. Take your ball there. Spread out. Give yourself some room. Give yourself some room. We're going to go from here to there. Do some, some warm up, some stretching. Okay, so let's pick the ball up. And let's see if we can go down the field. Going through, okay? Comes through, comes through comes through. Raise the knee up. Raise them up. There you go. Take your time. It's not a race. Just step high. Good. Get down. Turn around. All the way down. All right. So now we're going to go back and we'll go here. Touch here. 
touch. Let's take a few steps in between. One, two, step. One, two, step. Okay, and go. Very good. How high can you get it? Challenge yourself. Good, ball's on the ground. Now let's see if we can dribble the ball, but every time you dribble it, I want you to touch it. So touch, 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 touch. Okay, go. Touch, touch, touch. And turn and face. And on the ground, we have the ball. Bring it up. Bring it down. Bring it up. Bring it down. Bring it up. And bring it down. Outstanding. Bring it up. Bring it down. Very good. All right. And we do it eight. Can you slide? Look at me. Can we slide it? And you slide. And you bend your, bend your knees, push your waist. Very good. And let's pick the ball up. Okay, so now, last one. Let's just throw it out in front and touch. Okay, and go. Let it hit the ground. Very nice. Good. Good, good, good. Now, can we go here? Go down the field like that. So we'll go down but without the ball this time and go. Not a race, not a race. Get the knees up nice and high, not a race. Stretch. Very good. Knees up. Back straight. All the way up on your toes, very good. And face. All right, so last one, two balls. All right. Back heel, go. There you go, back heel. All right, and let's see you dribble all the way down there. Who can get there quick? And stop it on a dime. So we'd face there, see that orange cone, the first one? So you go as fast as you can, then stop, maybe do a turn, maybe turn the ball, and then keep going, okay? There you go. All right, go. Do your move. Very nice. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Listen up, listen up, okay? Um, kiss the cone, right? Kiss the cone with a push pass, right? So spread yourselves out, out around the perimeter like we did before. Just set yourselves up outside the perimeter, okay? We're gonna start with you and we'll quickly pass around, okay? All the way out on the outside, all the way on the outside. There you go, spread yourselves all the way around though. Spread yourselves out all the way around, okay? So we'll start from here. Okay, just a nice little push pass, trying to kiss the cone, side of the foot, okay? As soon as she goes, then the next one, then the next one will go all the way around so you can put, hit the cone or who can come closest, right? Go ahead, off you go, we'll start from here. Good, unlucky, and again, oh, a little soft, right? And again, next one up, good. Next one up. Oh, there's one. Ooh, close. Oh, close. Ooh, hit a ball, unlucky. Good, good. Got a little obstacle, don't you? Good, and quickly drag, drop, jog in and get your balls. Jog in and get your balls. 
There's a couple over here. There's one over here. If you don't have one, there's one over here. When I pass the ball, okay, what thing should I be looking to do besides use the side of my foot? What other things should I be doing when I pass the ball? Looking at the target. My plant foot. Where should my opposite foot be planted at? And point it where? At my target, okay? Do I need to follow through when I pass it? Yes. Okay, so with that in mind, let's try it one more time. Make sure we have that plant foot pointing at the target and let's follow all the way through with our ankles locked and our toes pointed slightly up. All right, here we go, let's see. See if we can get one this time, go. It's all right. Oh, there it, oh, close, unlucky. And we're going to play that game um, where you're going to dribble around. And what you're going to try and do is you're going to touch someone on their kneecap. Okay, so you'll dribble around. When I say go, the game starts. Okay, so you have to try and touch people on the knee. Keep a count of how many people you touch. Okay, the objective is try and see how many people you can touch without being touched. All right, so dribble around, dribble around. You must stay inside the area, must stay inside the area of the cones. Okay. Dribbling around, dribbling around. When I say go, the game starts. Stay inside the cones. Keep control of the ball. Go! Got to protect that ball, right? Protect that ball. Good, and time. Okay, now, what do I have to do to protect myself from getting touch? Dodge. Well, I can dodge, maybe I can dribble away into space, right, away from someone, what else can I do? How about turning my body away from the person? Can I do that? Yeah. And does that help me protect the ball as well? Yeah. Right, so let's see this time if someone's coming towards you and they're trying to touch your knee, try to turn your body away and dribble into space to get away from them, okay? All right, dribble around. When I say go, the game starts. Go! Pick your head up. Five seconds. Good, and hold it there. Again, all right, if someone's coming and I don't want them to touch me on the knees, I can turn my body away or I can dribble into space, okay? What's the other thing I should be doing with my head? My head should be on a swivel, right? Every once in a while, I've gotta pick my head up to see where the other people are. I can't keep it down here the whole time, can I? Right? So I've got to pick my head up. If I see danger, I can dribble into space to get away or I can turn away from the person to get my body away from them and it also helps me protect the ball. All right, so last time. Now, this time, I want you to actually count how many times you've gotten touch. The person that's been touched the least amount is the winner, all right? Last time. Got to touch them on the kneecap, though. It's got to be on the kneecap, not from behind. Got to touch their kneecap. Good. The objective is not to get touched. So turn your body away. Get that body stance the right way. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time. 
Good, hold it there. How many times do you touch? Zero. Zero, how many? One. One. Zero. Zero, not bad. Much better than the, than the last times, okay? Much better than the last times. All right, come on in again, come on in again. So now we're going to play random cones, all right? So random cones, you're going, to, you're going to dribble the ball, yes? See the cones? I want you to go around the cone, all right? You figure out how far, which foot, which surface you want to use. All right, so spread out and dribble and just wait till I tell you to go, okay? Let me see you just dribble around, practice. Okay, go. And stop. All right, so now you have an idea of what we want you to do. So I want you to speed it up because I'm going to give you 30 seconds to go around as many cones as you can. Okay, 30 seconds. Are you ready? And go. Count them out. Let me hear you count when you go. Okay, if someone's at your cone, what do you have to do? All right, you have to turn and go the other way. Don't let anyone touch your ball. And stop. How many cones do you have? Five, eight, nine. All right, so now the goal is to beat that. Let's see if you can beat your, your personal best just at this time. All right, so what's the, what's the way that you can beat that? What do you have to do? Turn quickly. Turn quickly, very nice. What else can you do? Okay, all right, you have to watch out and see if people are by you so you don't run into them. And one other thing you can do to go faster. Dribble the ball quick. So, all right, so we gotta make sure we go quick to get to that cone, turn, and then Get to the next cone as quick as you can. Are you ready? 30 seconds, go. Come on, you're going for your personal best. Ten seconds. What we get? Ten. Twelve. Ten, ten. Sounds like thirteen. Very good. Great improvement. Great improvement. So we're going to play uh, tail tag. What I want you to do is take the penny, stick him in the back. Yeah, he's smiling. He knows what's going on. Oh, yeah, it's coming, coming. All right. So look, here's our, what's our, what's our inbounds and out of bounds? You tell me. The, the cones. The cones. So look around. Make sure you stay in. I'm the referee. All right. All right. So I think you guys know what we're going to do. Everybody's it. Your job is to grab the, the, the penny, the vest, and then when you grab it, just drop it to the ground. But you're still in the game. You're still in the game, all right? Then you can still try to drop someone. Let's see who's the last person to have a penny. Good? Uh -huh. All right, now, what, let me check out the, the tails because I don't want you to stick them too far down in there. They've got to be hanging out long. Is it long uh, pull it out some more. Yeah, got to be hanging out long. Are you ready? No, okay, 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 spread out. Spread out. Give yourself some room. Are you ready? Yeah, Game's on. Okay, good, good. Okay. All right, so what does this game do for us, coach? Uh, we have decision making, we have speed, we have turns. All right, so once they're all on the ground, is that it? All right, if you got your penny pulled, it should be on the ground, but you're not out of the game. You just dropped the penny, so pick the pennies back up. So now you understand the game, yes? 
All right, so what, 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 is, what is our rule about go, going out of bounds? What happens if uh, uh, someone with a penny goes out of bounds? What should we do? Make them, make, make them drop their penny. Make, okay, uh, the rule is that you have to drop your penny if you go out of bounds. Are you ready? Uh, penny's in? No. Not, too long, not too short, right? All right. Remember, if you go out of bounds, you got to drop your penny. Go. 30 seconds. Very good. A lot of twisting going on. Heads are up. Players are thinking ahead. And players are smiling. That's a good thing. Very good, very good. Okay, he's out, so he has to drop his penny. Yes, yes, sir. You are out right there. I win! All right, there we go. All right. Okay, guys, today we're going to play a game that's called the gate game. And we're going to get in pairs. Each of you are going to have a ball. And I want you guys to pass through the gates with your partners. Get through as many gates as you can in one minute. Keep count of how many you can do. And at the end of one minute, I'm going to ask you how many you got. All right, so go ahead and get a ball. And get on the field and wait for me to say go. Quickly, get a ball. Get in your pairs. Okay, you ready? Set. Go. Keep count. Get through as many of those gates as you possibly can in one minute. Don't forget to keep count. 20 seconds. Come on, you got 20 seconds left. And time. Hold the ball. How many did you guys get? 14. 14. How many did you guys get? 12. 12. How many did you guys get? 17. 17. Well, here's what we're going to do. This time, you have to beat your own record by one. Your own record by one. I'm going to give you another minute to try and beat your record. But here's what I want you to try. After you pass the ball to somebody, instead of waiting to see if it's going to go through, I want you to...